So, Sharon, welcome, Sharon. Hi, thank you for having me. You're Good welcome. morning, everybody. Let's do a formal introduction then. So, um, delighted to have Sharon Livermore, MBE, with us today, um, who is the founder of uh, Domestic Abuse Education um, and is a domestic abuse survivor herself and now uses her lived experience to educate and train businesses through the courses and the training delivery um, that you do. So I'm delighted to have Sharon here um, to work alongside us here at Finwell um, today. So welcome, Sharon. Shall we get going? Shall Absolutely. We get into yep. the thick of it? Right, so come on then. Let's start. Yeah, tell me, what is domestic abuse versus financial abuse? So, obviously, you'll see in front of you um, the UK government's definition of domestic abuse that I'd just like to talk through. Um, so, domestic abuse is any incident or pattern of incidents of controlling, coercive, threatening behaviour, violence or abuse between those aged 16 or over, so really important that we're aware it's 16 or over, who have been intimate or intimate partners um, or family members as well, so extended family members as well. So, again, something we need to be um, mindful of regardless yeah. of gender or sexuality and the abuse can encompass but is not limited to psychological physical sexual financial and emotional so obviously the financial side the economic side is part of abuse it is a form of abuse the other thing to note is that children are now recognized as victims of domestic abuse in their own right as well which is a really unfortunately a positive thing um if they see hear, or experience the effects of abuse between two personally connected individuals who are aged 16 or over and abuse that's for under 16 is child abuse. So wow. there are a few definitions that we're talking about. Mm. But when we're talking about abuse, I know we do talk about stats, but just to bring it to life a little bit, 95% of people who experience domestic abuse will experience economic abuse so wow. um, and financial abuse. So it is a way, it's a very strong tactic that's used to control somebody. Domestic abuse is about controlling one person, someone controlling another person. And if you think about it, if you don't have access to funds, I know we're going to go through this in a lot more detail. If you don't have access to your finances, you don't have independence. So how do you leave if you don't have money to, to leave a relationship? Um, you know, even having to ask for money for, um, for sanitary products, petrol, yeah. food, yeah. really controlling. Thank you.